Yeah. So it means Muhammad uh, and the rest were still loyal to Moi. So they just did this thing. So if they were still loyal to Moi, why did they do it? Why did they need to do the ploy? What was the idea behind it? For them to throw Luz and Kikuz out of the military. That was oh. the, main, the main reason. Mm. Because we, we, we were so many in the Air Force, Luz mm. as technicians. Okay. Kikuyu were so many in the Air Force mm. as pilots and technicians. Mm. And by this thing, if these people at the army saw that, mm. they were threatened. Ekonene, saizi ni one of the most anticipated guests. Now, who you guessed ndio mtualifanya, like Ekonene was somehow trending on Sunday. And this was because we were talking about uh, Watenge. And Watenge being a cop and someone coming out and saying that their paths crossed with Watenge. So the person that I'm talking about is Mr. Hezbon Ombwayo Odiero. Mr. Hezbon, habari yako? Salam, habari. Uh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So where are you based? I'm in Norway, in Oslo. Oh okay okay so um so I received a call from you on uh, Friday and uh, I ended up talking about the call on the the live show that we do on Friday nights but a few things that maybe I need to mention before we start uh, so that people can understand where this is coming from is uh, the fact that yes we had Mr Huatenge uh, on the show Mr Huatenge is someone that uh, personally I respect very much because I feel like what he's doing right now is good uh, instead of dying with secrets, he's coming out and telling people about Kenya's history, Kenya's dark history. Um, so, yeah, I think I feel like that needs to be established now before we get into the show. Yes? Is that okay with you? That's right. Okay, okay. So, uh, Mr. Hezbon Omboyo, can we, could we start with you? Like, um, where, how you got involved in all these things? So, were you a cop? I wasn't a cop, I was a soldier. Oh, you are a soldier? Yeah. When did you join the Kenya military? 1976, February. 1976. And you you uh, stayed in the military for how long? Up to the coup. The so-called to... coup. Okay. Why, why are you saying the so-called coup? Because it was not a coup. Okay. Could you elaborate? This is a this I've, I've, I've even talked to some newspaper and it is on the, on the news back in uh, ten years ago. Okay. The standard. Okay. And I said it was a ploy. Mm. This was Moi Moi's own coup. Okay. Yeah, there was nobody who was involved in coup in 1982. Mm. And the game was done, but through special branch and yeah. the army. Okay, so when you say it's Moi's uh, special coup, are you confirming what uh, Watenge said? Watenge said that Moi became president after the coup, that before before the coup, uh, Charles Jonjo was the one who was running things. And now after the coup, Moi took over. Before I challenge Watenge on that matter, yeah. I think it's always good to, te- to, to tell people the truth. Okay. Yeah, he was a senior officer in the in the in the, in, in, in the police, mm. and he know exactly what took place. Okay. Uh, oh, another correction. I'd have to put that is by 1982, Huatenge had not joined him. He joined in no, 1983. No, no, no. was already in the forces. No, no, he was he was in uh, he joined in 1983. That's yeah, something exactly. that. Yes, 83 no, 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 after no. the coup. Yes, after the coup. Yes. Oh At yeah, least after that's the what. Coup. Yes, 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 he yes. Joined, uh, yeah, yeah. He joined after. Yes, so yeah. that's why I want us to go step by step, yeah? Yes. I want yes. us to start with uh, why you're saying it's a ploy. You see, that's that's a very... Exactly. Uh, why, why you're saying that Moi organized his own coup. That's a very strong statement. That's why I'm trying exactly. to get you to ex- expound yeah, yeah. on it. I'll explain. Yes, Exp- explain. In 1982... Yeah. Or I ca- Can I start from what how it started? Yes, yes. Let's start there. Between 80 and 81. Yeah. The Moi government claimed that Njonji wanted to overthrow the government. Okay. Through his cousin called Muthemba. Okay. And to me, 
that is where Moi and his group mm. started targeting those people they didn't want. Okay. And I I I I I I I had called two people my heroes in that country called Kenya. Okay. Although the people don't know them or people didn't like them. Yes. The late Charles Njonjo. Yeah. And former Air Force commander did done the churu. Okay. Those are my heroes. Why are they your heroes? These are the people who brought constitution constitution to Kenya. Okay. Uh, without those two guys, plus the British High Commissioner by that time. Mm. Cool. Because there was a group who were out mm. to take over immediately after Kenyatta's death. Yes. But the three group, Charles Njojo, mm. Major General Didan Ichuru of Kenya Air Force, yeah. and British High Commissioner stood by Moi. Okay. Saying that the constitution must be fo- followed. Yes. And we in the military we were told that immediately well, after the death of Kenyatta. Yeah. We were told not to say anything. Mm. And we have to accept the vice president as our new president. According to constitution. Yes. Which we did. And I'm very thankful to those two guys, plus the, 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 the High Commissioner of British by that time. Because mm. when Kenyatta mm. died in Mombasa, mm. I was on duty on that day also. Okay, Let, let's rewind that. So Kenyatta died in State House Mombasa? Yeah. Okay. Mm. And uh, I was on duty as a duty clerk on that day. Yeah. And it always the, the signal comes through us at night and we send it to the duty officer and all those people who are required mm-hmm. to know about what's going on. Even if it is war or what, what or what. So how did that message come in? Because I remember that time uh, even thinking of Kenyatta as a dead person was close to treason. So how does the message come to your desk? Does it come like number like one? Like now, dead? if I'm the I'm the duty officer. Yeah. There, there was a there was a place called the uh, there was a duty clerk. Yeah. Was who was receiving all information and there was communication center also. Mm. The communication center f- get the message first and then send it to the duty clerk within mm. the three 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 units of, of, of Kenya Air Force. Kenya Air Force Isli, Kenya Air Force uh, Nanyuki and the uh, Wajia. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so um, so if we go back to this this time when you're saying um, okay okay so now Kenyatta dies what happens yeah. next? When Kenyatta died, yeah, he was brought through KCB Kenya Air Force Sicily. Yes, and I remember the people who received Kenyatta up to that. Yeah, and and even President Moi was there, Mamangina was there, Uru was still a young man. Mm. Yeah, these people were there. And the, the the pilot was the same Gichuru I'm talking about. Okay. And some other officers. Mm. Jonjo was there. Mm. And the British High Commissioner was also there. Mm. And the body was drawn. Uh, dro- uh, they, they drove the body to, to, to State House where I wasn't there. Okay. But I remember the person who drove the body. Yes. Who was it? Was the was called Warrant of Samon Day. Mm. Yeah, I think he's still alive up to now. Okay, so that time you're still in Isli. I was there throughout. That is where I was living. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. when the body was taken there, Moses was the one who drove the body up to State House. Okay. And uh, immediately after that, Moi took over as a president. Yeah. But if I hear somebody say Moi was not a president until the coup of 1982, then that is out of question. I think what he meant by that was Moi was not uh, powerful, was not as powerful. So he was saying, uh, he gave us examples of the fact that when uh, uh, Jonjo would walk in, Moi would end up explaining himself that this person has come because of this. I would say that it was fear. Mm. Jojo was a very good friend of Moi, and Jojo was one person who respected the law. Okay. 
And fear comes in when you see that somebody has given you what you didn't expect to, to get. Because Kikuyus who were with Kenyatta wanted to take over. Okay, okay. And they feared Njonjo. Mm. They feared Dadide and Gichuru. Okay. So when these people feared those people like Njonjo, mm. Moi also was respecting Njonjo as somebody who could stand with him. Okay. And these people who wanted to overtake when Kijata died mm. warned in Jojo that umekata to situkwe ikitu utajua sisi ni nani. Mm. Unasikia? Yes. So when that thing happened the way it was, they ganged up and kicked Njonjo and Njonjo was called Msaliti. He wanted to overthrow the government. Through the same trick and this was done by Kanyotu Mm. Major General Mulinge, mm. Major General Sawe, Major General Muhammad Mohamed, mm. and Major General Musomba. Ah, uh, okay, but everyone says it's Muhammad Mohamed that saved Moi. On what? On the coup, the coup, the coup that the happened coup in 1982. The they organized it. Okay, so uh, I think we had not reached the the part of the coup. So yeah. now, if you say that, if you say yes, yes. If we are, uh, we are still talking about Jonjo, yes, but we've yeah. established that Moi respected Jonjo, yes. Yeah. I think the question is, uh, you say that Moi organized his own coup, that it was a ploy. That's why I don't understand. L- l- let's go back to Jonjo. Okay. So that I can clarify Kenyans on what Jojo did and why Moi feared Jojo. Yeah. It's like a like like like, like a dog uh, walking with some with the owner. Mm. And some dogs want to bite him and the owner stands by him. Mm. So he feels that is akiangalia we macho and aona you are with him. Mm. But these dogs are planning how to get this dog of yours. Yeah. You see? Mm. So Jojo, when Jojo came into this game, Jojo had no plan of overthrowing Moi mm. at all. Jojo was only following the constitution and what happened was that the Kikuyus who wanted to overtake the government mm. were very much annoyed with Jojo. Yeah. yeah. They didn't like it and they said, told him wewe, Daona. So Major General Gichuru, who was the Air Force commander, Pia was warned. Yeah. And that is why he was changed with Major General Karioki, Naya Kaperekwa Diodi. Mm. He would never be a major uh, uh, Air Force commander again. Mm. Because he stops what other good guys wanted to do. Mm. Mm. So Njonjo was accused through somebody called Mudemba, cousin, his cousin. Mm. And Mudemba was found to be not normal. Yeah. And then uh, the special branch penetrated and found Mudemba, who was related to Njonjo, and then they organized how they could make this thing be good so that it looks like Njonjo is having some people around him. Mm. And this is when the Air Force thing also started. Okay. So when Muvemba accepted the game, mm. they introduced somebody called the Muiruri. Yes. And by that time, Muiruri, this this special branch was interested in the other part of Air Force, Nanyuki. Mm. Mm. How they were going into the camp, eating together with airmen. Mm. I don't know who who permitted them that case, that uh, that uh, yes. who gave them that permission. Okay. So they started this game in Nanyuki, mm. and then they told Mudeba we can get somebody from Air Force who can give you guns and everything. Mm. Yeah. And then when they went to Nanyuki, they got somebody called Kopro Simba. I remember the name very well, Ameru. Yeah. And Kopro Simba was convinced because he was working in supply. Mm. Mm. And Kopro Simba asked, eh, how come? Huh? 
And then Corporal Simba gave us a tip because I was working with the military intelligence. Yes. He gave my bosses tips. Mm. And already Special Branch had penetrated Air Force. Mm. And Luos mm. were lowered also into this game because the game between Odinga and Kenyatta yes. was hitting the drums all the time that Luos are not promoted, near all these, that, this. Mm. So they found that Luos, if they're convinced, they will do the work. Okay. And let me be truthful. Mm. This time, Jonjo is being a... Mudeba is being take, uh, given that chance to, 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 to act as Jonjo, is, Jonjo wanted to overthrow. Jonjo didn't know anything. Mm. We were the people investigating. And I had a boss called Captain Gitucha. Okay. Who we investigated this Jonjo's case to the to the end. To the end. And Jonjo Who, had a lawyer called Jujadis. Which which period is this you investigated Jonjo? This is before the coup. Before the coup. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Before the coup. And uh, Jonjo won the case before the, the court of law. Okay. He'd because been charged with what? Treason? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Jonjo won the case and Jonjo left politics and said politics is a dirty game. Mm. He never so, became. Yeah. Which, year, which year is this that Jonjo is living in? This was politics? between 80 and 81. Oh, okay. So, uh, But he's still the AG at this, at, at this point, or? No, he was the minister for, for what? This, um, this new ministry, which was formed, this, this ministry was called what? And uh, Owego mm. Lang was his deputy. Okay. Mm. I think is where this uh, Kindiki is today. Oh, defense. Yeah. No, it, it has a, it interior, has a name. interior, hmm? interior security. Is it, interior it, security? it must have been one of the air. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't remember that. So, uh, but now, mm. when this happened, the case was taken before. The court and special branch left everything for us for to investigate. They were pretending that they were helping us. Mm. So I'm the one who was entertaining one called Muiruri at Kenya Air Force Lee. That he was part of the special branch. No, Muiruri oh. was one of the people who were brought to in by special branch as the people who were supporting Jonjo to overthrow the government. Oh, okay. Yeah. Through okay. Muvemba. Mm. So as Muiruri came, I was a senior non-commissioned officer, and I was to take him to the mess. We sit together, enjoy mm -hmm. the beer, and then I don't do anything to him. I don't. I'm friendly to him. Yeah. While the other group are finding out mm -hmm. what was going on. Mm -hmm. So as an intelligence officer, we had a lot. Not the way I hear my friend is talking, that uh, I was not here by that time. I could be taken to Northeastern within two hours. I'm in Mandera. Yeah. Interrogating some people there. Mm. And then I come back. Who's so you, you, you also used to interrogate people? Yeah, of course. Okay, so... Um... Because we need to establish this, because uh, later we'll be talking about torture. I'm yeah. assuming by this time in uh, the 80s and the 81s, mm. you'd also have to torture people for information. Because I think that was a, that, an accepted. That is normal. That is there. Okay. I saw so, it with my eyes. And you also did it. I never do it because my seniors were there. If the senior officers are there, mm. but the, in in the military, somebody just this. I don't know how they. Uh, they I, I just saw it when I was also arrested. Okay. But these people torture anyone who they suspect has infiltrated the, the military camp. Yeah. And then maybe as a Somalia, they say this is a shifter or what. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so 80, up around 81, um, Jonjo is being investigated. Uh, he's yeah. found innocent. Mm -hmm. So, 
how does the coup happen and what's the importance of the coup in this when whole... George, when the Jojo case was dropped pap yeah the special branch came back to air force mm. and there's a guy here in Kenya mm. who is now in the government yeah former air force man mm. who wrote a book mm. that he was the coup leader of 1982 he wrote a book he wrote a book what's his and book? it is in amazon i have a book also yeah and my name is in his book okay so what's the name of the book 1982 coup oh and he says he was the leader he was the leader he said he was the leader because mm. immediately after njonjo mm. the special branch came back and started recruiting lures yeah and some radical who are, you know in, in in the military there are people some who also feel that okay he, he can say anything and he, he wants to and he's a lower rank yeah so that what to kirere so when the, the the special branch came back to air force mm. there was this guy called Waredian James Waredian mm. mm. the author of the the the, the, the author of uh, Uh, Kenya Air Force 82 coup. Mm. Yeah. Okay, th- so that book is also out. Is out. Okay. So are yeah, these two I, books? I ha- no no no, that is the man I'm talking about. Oh, he, he's the one you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm, I, I'm not afraid to talk about I want to tell people the truth. And he's in the government right now. Have he's now in the government. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I don't think the government is going to kick him because I'm talking about him. He's a Kenyan yeah. like those crooks there in the government. Mm, mm. So, Waore was arrested. Mm. 1981. Okay. And then there was a brother to Orwa Ojode. Mm. Called Odira Ojode, the eldest brother. Okay. Who also was in that group but By this time it was like okay Wore was taken to DOD before Mulinge. Mm, mm. And I explained it and they wanted to bring Odinga's family in that game. Mm, mm. So Wore was killed and Wore was charged and taken to court martial. This is which year? 81. Okay, so all this is before the main coup. Okay. The main coup. Okay, okay. Yeah. So after Ore was jailed, mm. we thought everything was okay. Oh, he was jailed for how long? Four years. Four years, eh? Yeah, where Ore went for, because we found him in jail. Oh, okay. Yeah. We met him there. Mm. Mm. So when this thing happened like that, we thought everything was okay and now mm. by looking at the, the the face of the military, mm. Air Force and uh, Air Force and Army were not good friends. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm. Because of one thing. Yes. Air Force mostly were recruiting those uh, those uh, people with their profession. Mm. And the Army was anybody. Oh. So there was hatred between these two people. Oh, so you're saying Air Force was recruiting people who had like higher academic qualifications. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Mm, mm. So when we were together, there was a hatred, and then uh, you know, like, okay, you are looking at me as if I'm not like uh, the, the uniform. Uh, see, mm, mm. and and there was a name. Mm. The learned groups of Air Force Corps you could, could call Army. Yeah, but they are bongos. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm. bongos. Yeah. Uh, what to akili yeah mm, okay i don't know bongo is what type of an animal but that was that a, a name used by oh, those I, i thought bongo is brain that, that's what i no, thought bongo like. is an animal oh it's an animal okay or a, mm. a, a brainless animal yeah okay so 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 this one was so, there uh, uh okay uh, i think there maybe i misunderstood you so it's the air force that would call the army bongos not the yeah, army exactly. would call oh, right. i thought I thought right. it's the other way around. Okay. Mm. Yeah, let me write. I don't want to make it look like I know 
more, better than others or I'm, I'm now coming up because uh, there's something I want to get. Mm -hmm. I just want to tell the truth so that uh, where I'm wrong, I can also be corrected. Okay. But let us not run away from the truth. Mm. I don't want that. Mm. The truth should be told. Yeah. And it shall set us free. Okay. So when this guy was jailed for four years, mm. we were surprised. I said, but, uh, who was this guy? How could a man like him? Mm. Because these people, special branch work, when they penetrated these groups, mm. they were told that Odinga, Odinga mm. is behind that thing. This is Jaramogi. Jaramogi. Mm. So you people, Odinga, and the, the Odinga is, is Odinga. So mm. the Luz, you know how Odinga family is, 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 is our king. Mm. Yeah. So if okay. the king is being, yeah, if the king is being tortured and that uh, uh, you feel okay. Mm. So what went wrong? Mm. After our war was jailed, I thought that this thing was over. Yeah. Uh, we used to have friends who could visit us from other places in Nairobi where you come and then I book you at the gate, we go eat, drink in the mess. Mm. The AFCO thing. Yeah. So something came back. And I was called by my by my boss. Yeah. He said there are some people who are still after this government. Mm. And he gave me the name. Yeah. I had Corporal Riwa mm. from Nanyuki. I had senior uh, senior Sergeant Oteo mm. from Nanyuki, and I had Sergeant Obon. Mm. These sound like all low names. Yeah. They sound like all Luo names. All were Luos. Okay. Mm. So I was told, how do you know these guys? But Oriwa was my entry mate. Mm. And a very close friend of mine. Mm. And he was in Anyuki. Yeah. By good luck, Oriwa was posted to Isili. Mm. So when he came to Isili, we were talking and he told me, no, you know, this, this, this government, we have to take it. Mm. We must. And I mm. asked him how, through what. And he knew who I was. Mm. But being close. Mm. And then I reported Oriwa to my bosses. Oh, okay. Mm. Then... Uh, did you warn him against the talk? Like, you know, you're my friend, you need to stop this. Ama, did you just feel like you needed to report you know, him? I thought this guy, no, 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 no. I, th I thought this guy was not, was drunk mm. and was talking his own things. But I said by warning him, he's going to, I'm going to be an enemy. Or by talking too much to him, mm. he'll start thinking that I'm investigating him and how he came to me telling me these things. Mm. I said, because being intelligent, mm. Or becoming an intelligence officer, you must be intelligent. Yes. Yeah, you just don't go do things. That even if you are drinking, mm. you know your areas. Yeah. You just don't go drinking with because these people are also intelligent. Yeah. So by this time, I said no because getting your brother, then you, I reported the matter. Mm. But we found that there were civilians coming to Italy Air Force. Yeah. In our messes, uh, mm. other ranks, we use the lowest trial uh, mess, mm. Mm. corporal's mess, sergeant's mess, and officer's mess. Mm. These people were visiting and then talking about the coup. Oh, even civilians? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, to my surprise, mm. I'm sending these messages to my bosses. Mm. And they're also getting it. Mm. We had a very senior special branch officer at Pangani Police. Mm. Whom we connected with. Yes. So he was like he didn't know anything. Mm. But they were helping us because we were not 
we were not supposed to investigate somebody out of military yeah. level. Mm. The special branch was were there. Mm. So this guy who, at, who was at Pangani, mm. we, the bosses talked to him. And by that time, we, there was an airman. Uh, I don't know whether he was a corporal or an, an, an air force man mm. who was killed at Kenya Commercial Bank. Mm. Robbery inside oh. the bank. Oh, he was killed, eh? Yeah, robbery. But it was a random killing, or was it? Was it? I don't, I don't know how it happened because a, a robber cannot be sh- just shot at, at inside the bank. Mm. And maybe it had a gun or what, but he was killed. So that I was told to investigate that one. Mm. And I said, this man, how was he killed up here? Mm. Huh? How is this man? How was this? How was that? Then, uh, you know, sometimes you let other things go. Yes. So when we get this man from Pangani, mm. I had some two steps ranks in front of me who was now talking to him. Yeah. But now this cool thing started. Mm. The 1982. Yeah. And people could rumor. Mm. And I said, but how the government is, there are people who want to take the government. Mm. Huh? So, of course, Moi knows this. Everybody knew about that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, from Mulinge Major C- C- CGF to, to, to the commander in chief to, 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 to a junior private in the military. Mm. Yeah, it, it was like uh, in Jili. Mm. Yeah. This thing is going to happen. Yeah, there's a, there's a military coup in here. Yeah. There's a, and then now we are investigating this. And the bosses, and they, as, as I'm talking to you, mm. We are writing reports, sending to DOD. Mulingi is getting these things. Mm. Everything is done as per what we are, who we are. Mm. But we, did, we didn't know anything. Mm. Mm. So what happened in 1982 exactly? Yeah. On 1st August 1982. Yes. After these things had been arranged by these two groups. Mm. Mulinge did not like the commanders of Kenya Air Force. Mm. Same to Mohammed. Mm. Same to Major General Savi. I don't know whether he's dead or he's still alive. I've never yeah. heard of him. Okay. And the Major General Musomba. Mm. These are these these senior officers of Kenya Kenya in the army. Yeah. My friend. I don't believe it until today. Mm. Yeah. I don't believe, and I always talk about it. What, what don't you believe? What happened? Okay. Because on before 1st August, a week earlier, mm. military always go for exercise. Mm. And uh, it can be taken outside, maybe Lord were where, there, that. Mm. Mm. The military planned an exercise called the uh, Linda Inch. Yeah, okay. Which Air Force was taken to Kisumu Air, 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 Airport. Mm. The Nanyuki guys, Isili people, mm. they were taken there. To Kisumu? It's Kisumu. Yeah. And the, 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 there was a group at Embakasi called Gadu. Mm. Mm. Was also taken to Kisumu. Mm. All Air Force personnel. Nairobi was empty. 7th mm. Battalion was taken mm. to Lodwa. Okay. Mm. And some other units which I don't remember. This, these are which dates? Like oh, how many? Be- oh, one week first. before the coup. Oh, one week before the coup. Yeah, but I was in Nairobi. I remained in Nairobi. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So, that same week, Mm. This exercise mm. left Nairobi empty handed. Okay. And by that time we had a show mm. in uh, in Nyeri mm. where Moi was there. 
the uh, Air Force Commander General Karioki was there and other military officers. Okay. Are, are the ones who are with Moi, were they loyal to him? General Karioki? I tell Moi, who did not like Moi? Moi was loved. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Moi was our commander in chief. Mm. Hmm? Mm. Moi was loved. Okay. The, the leaders, uh, if Kichuru, Karioki, Air Force personnel, we, Moi was our commander in chief. Yeah. I had, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think of, of, of get, getting it now. And I'm the one person who was, who brought Moe's military clothes from London mm. to kiss easily to, to, to Nairobi, DOD. Mm, mm. You, you, what do you mean by that? You went to London to, to get them? The clothes, president, uh, military. Oh, so someone had to go and pick them and bring them? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. And I was welcomed at the airport as a king mm. by military officers, and then they took them to the mm. Okay. So we, Moi, I don't even today. I would, I, I would not. I'm, I, I'm not bitter, mm. but I still play respect because if you hear the discipline force, yeah, I'm still disciplined up today. In case okay. of anything in Kenya. Mm. And I'm told that the war is because of this and that, and we need you people. I, I fight for Kenya. Kenya is my country. Okay. Yeah. So when this thing happened on that first August, mm. soldiers were moved out. Oh, soldiers had already been moved out. So uh, no one, give, mm, to give no one could protect. Mm. Mm. And to make so, the matter to make the matter worse, there were soldiers who were to 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 to, to have a parade at the Nanyuki show for President Moi. Yeah. To my surprise, a mm. soldier is told that a gun is like your mother mm. or your father. Mm. Don't if you have your gun at a na kuwa kufa na yeye. Yeah. But this time the airmen at Nanyuki mm. were brought back to Isili mm. by aircraft. And their guns were put in a lorry to bring back to. Oh, to protect Nairobi. Yeah. Okay. So they it came to Nairobi a... without guns. Yeah. You don't but... go without your gun. Because mm. You signed for it at the armory. Mm. And you return it back to the armory, signing off. So who who is this you're saying made them leave Nanyuki without guns? Who could have been? I, I don't know. It just came like that. Mm, mm. I don't know because there were senior officers who could arrange and then there were the, 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 the commanders. Mm -hmm. So when these people came back, they had no guns, mm. but the gun were brought back. This is at what time? Because the, the coup started, okay, what, what time did the coup start? At midnight. At midnight. Yeah. And these people uh, uh, reached Nairobi at what time? The, 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 from na, from uh, from na, uh, from na Nyeri to na, is about 40 30 minutes by uh, helicopter yeah okay so they reach and they don't have guns they don't have guns so now they just have to stay at the base I mean, what yeah. do they do mm. they, they were there so when you come you are a free man you can put, change on your clothes and go outside the camp mm. do what you want to do and then that was how it was mm. But this time so there's when, a coup. No, the coup, the coup, nobody has never known that the coup is going to take on today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but there was smell. Mm. Yeah, some some people were smelling. People okay, were okay. Like, okay, so, wow, that, that's that's the part I, would, I had not understood. So they came from Nanyuki to Nairobi before the coup happened. So it's the same yeah. night, but before it happens. Okay. Before okay. night. Yes, before night, but and, before. Before it Before happens the, now. Yeah. Mm, mm. So that was, we, did, we didn't suspect anything wrong. That's on a Thursday. Because the coup happened that on a Friday. That was on a Saturday. Oh, the coup happened on a Sunday. So that's a Saturday. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when it happened that way, mm. see, people were normal. We, people, we, we, in, in, in the, the base, we, we have four clubs. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And uh, everybody has his own club according to his rank. Yeah, yeah. 
So people were enjoying. And mm. by that day, I don't know who organized for some band to come and play in the camp. Mm. Mm. Both, 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 both this day and... Nanyuki. Embakasi. Embakasi, okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't know what was going on in Embakasi. Mm. I mean, on, I, didn't, I don't know what was going on in Nanyuki. Mm. So they were enjoying and... Uh, I remember mm. our officer who, who told me, who asked me if I knew what, what, what was going to take on. Yeah. I don't remember his name. He was a lieutenant. Mm. Mm. And then I said, no, you people prepare. Mm. Huh? Now, the coup is going to take place. Mm. This group of Oriwa, mm. Odemba, mm. Ochuka, mm. uh, Gatia. Yes. Gatia ran to Sweden. He died in Sweden. Mm. Mm. Uh, we had Odira Ojode, brother to Orwa. Orwa Ojode, mm. who was killed at VOK. Mm. Or oh, him uh, was killed? Had, yeah. Okay. We, ha we had somebody called Attila. Mm. These are people who were killed. We had the Mirasi. Mm. These were in his, oh, this, these were the people at Isili Airbase. Okay, so they were killed at uh, KBC because they were exchanging no, fire. Eh? No, 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 no. They were not killed mm. on that day. These are people who were killed with the treason after being charged as. Oh, after people. being charged. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, because no, I think you you talked about. Uh, Odira. Or, Yes, Ojode's brother, like he was killed He's at the VOK. one who was killed at VOK. Oh, that day. So he was exchanging fire. The general Muamu group. Okay, okay. The, the, the one who claimed that they were overtaking the VOK. Mm, mm. So what happened on that day, mm. the special branch were the people who were opening armory for these airmen mm, mm. and disappearing. Yeah. Giving them a leeway mm. because they had organized for that. Okay, you see, uh, I think the part that I'm finding confusing is, um, yeah. Uh, okay, so let let's start with the like simple steps. So according to you, who organized the coup? Because you're saying that the Ochukas and what they were just put as the face, but they were not the real people Ochuka, behind the coup. Ochuka group. Now I'm coming to that. Yeah, these were those who were lowered into this thing that Odinga wanted to overthrow the government, mm. so they support him. Oh, okay. Mm. You see? Mm. And I, I'm sure that even Raila, Raila is still there. I don't know yeah. whether he was, it is, is, is not to Ochuka. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Because to live, we were like, the, these people were, what they, 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 the special branch did was like catching a hen. If you, 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 Oh, so Chuka liwekewa hivo? Aka, and... Chuka, how could Chuka be a president of Kenya? What rank was mm. Chuka? Mm. Chuka likuwa mm. tuna kierere zake za kujimuza na na... Who mm. was Chuka? Oh, Chuka he was a... He, he was from my, my, my village, I think. He was Chuka from was my junior. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Chuka was, Chuka was only known because... He was somebody who could uh, stand in front of uh, when when airmen had a parade mm. and talk. So Ochuka and another another Tachoni man called Odera, mm. or Prodera. Mm. Yeah. Odera was also killed there with Ochuka in committee. Oh, okay. Yeah. So ha, at this time, Ochuka is around how how old? Ochuka, if Ochuka was not uh, twenty nine. Oh, okay. Okay. Still. Okay. Mm. Yeah. 29 to mm. 26. Okay. Because I, me and myself, I was 27 by that time. Yeah. Oh, so he was older than you? Yeah, he was older than me. Okay. But a junior. A junior to you, but older than you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Because because in the military, they start recruiting from 18 to 24. Oh, okay. Mm. So somebody at 24 can come in when at 21 was already in the military. Oh, okay. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So this Ochuka, I knew Ochuka very well. Mm. 
and we, we talk all the time. Mm. And Ochuka was telling me, ah, oh, wait, 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 because I was one Luo who was not, I was not against anybody, but I was free. Mm. Mm-hmm. But when I was in the military intelligence, you know, people think that if you are in an intelligence office, your mm. job is to, 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 to spy or do what? Mm. No, we are given jobs. Mm. Do this when this happens. Okay, okay. So we, we are still sticking with the coup. Um, so the coup, uh, what I want to know is, yes, you have the Kiheriheres, the Ochukas, who, are, uh, who end up being put as the leaders. Yeah. But according to you, who was behind it? Like, can you name them again and then tell us why you think... Major General Mulinge was aware of the coup? Yeah. Kanyotu. Mm. The, the, the chief of, uh, of intelligence was was one of the people who organized for the coup. Mm. Major, Major General Sawe. Mm. Major General Mud Muhammad. Okay. Major General Msomba. Mm. And some other. I can call them name, but these are the most senior people I remember very well because uh, I would meet them even at when I, go, I, I was sent to DOD. Okay, so now the the question would be why would Muhammad organize something and then stop it? Because he's the one who who took back there was, KBC. There was nothing is he the like one who took? Stop. No, is he's he the one who took back KBC? There was nothing like stop. You know, you know this thing as as we talk. Mm. This was a game. Yeah. And this game, if you see most, I don't know. The president of Kenya used to tell people that he kitu nimeona tu kwa cinema. Uyu rudu uyu. Mm, mm. Huh? Mm. Na, 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 na kuya 19, 1982 was done like a film mm. yeah where starring is not dying but other people are dying mm. so starring like Major, Major General Mahmoud Muhammad was coming to save mm. starring like Major General Mulinge is not jailed mm. starring like Major General Sawe mm. is acting near the, the, the main starring who is yes. Moi Mm. Eh? All these people. Moi is now the head of those starring. Hey, I na taka kupinduliwa na kuna muto na pinduo, na kuna muto na chukua sirikali yake. Okay, so so yes, yes. I think that's what that's what I was not getting right. Yeah. So it means Muhammad uh, and the rest were still loyal to Moi. So they just did this thing. So if they were still loyal to Moi, why did they do it? Why did they need to do the ploy? What was the idea behind it? For them to throw Luos and Kikus out of the military, that was oh. the, main, the main reason. Mm. Because we 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 were so many in the air force, Luos mm. as technicians. Okay. Kikuyu were so many in the air force mm. as pilots and technicians. Mm. And by this thing, if these people at the army saw that, mm. they were threatened. Okay, okay, makes sense. So, but now I'd have to ask, what about Kanyotu? Because Kanyotu is a Kikuyu name. You know what happens? Mm. Even today in Kenya, mm. what I'm saying, mm. there's a Luo. Was Opio, was Opio not a Luo? Yeah, he, he was. He was. The, and why okay. was he torturing? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I understand what you mean. Okay, yeah. okay. So, so all this time where uh, people are saying that Moi is panicking, Moi is what? So all this time Moi was not panicking. That, he knew that was a game. Ask me, okay. Panda is still alive. Mm. Yeah, that is a game. Major Panda is the one who went to rescue to bring Moi back to Nairobi. Mm. Yeah, oh, and he okay. was a Luo. Mm. Yeah. So. After this, how many uh, Kikuyus and how many Luos lost their jobs, if you are to calculate? The Air Force, we were about... Like a percentage? Like a percentage, yes? Uh, 70%. 80, oh. 80, 88%. Mm. Because only uh, that few number went back to job. But they were not even given chance. Okay. And why is it then that the coup is mostly associated with Luos? I've never had the Kikuyu angle. This is the first You know what Ke- what is Kenya? What is in Kenya? Mm. Mm. There's somebody somewhere mm. who is not yet who who spread his tentacles to make Luos look like they are the people who are always fighting for mm. these uh, these things or uh, you see? Okay. And I don't know so, and if he's dead, he left that thing behind. Yeah. 
for laws to look, but I, I don't think that laws are the only bad character mm. to be dealt with whenever something came come out. Mm, mm, mm. And one thing also with the laws, I see when there's something like okay demonstration, if that demonstration happened to to to, to, to in Kenya, yeah, you find them they are the people who are demonstrating. Yes. So let's go back to the coup. So now the coup has happened. Uh, mm. Luos and Kikuyas are getting fired from the military. How do you end up getting arrested, considering that you are part of... My friend, the... this is why I'm, st- I'm in Norway here. Mm. And I, I thank God that I'm still alive. Okay. Mm. Because I don't know what I've, I did wrong to my country to, 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 to be taken to, 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 to prison for 18 years. Mm. So okay. So what happened in 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 my my, my jail term mm. or okay. why I was in prison is what I when, don't know. When, when are you arrested? Let's let's start with that. No the coup I has was happened. Not arrested. Mm. I, I just went to the camp. Mm. Yeah, I just went to the camp when my, the army had already taken the camp. Okay. Taken it back. Now yeah. uh, Moi was back in power now. Yes. Okay, he'd never left, but now he was back officially. Uh, and one thing we should not forget: mm. this is about the coup of 1982, about Ochuka. Why I said Ochuka was just planted. Yeah. Okay. Ochuka, Ochuka, Ochuka flew up to Dar es Salaam. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Who flew him to Dar es Salaam? I don't know. Medjalesan. Okay. Who is a Maasai? Mm. And Major Marende was the co-pilot. Mm. Ochuka, Oteo, and the other group were flown to Dar es Salaam. And this time, according to you, Moi knows they are being flown to Dar es Salaam. Who would arrange an aircraft to, 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 to carry a rebel or anybody? Okay. Major Leshan was already put aside. Mm with his co-pilot that these people are going to and these people or people like Ochuka are given direction you people run mm. to the aircraft mm. Mm. Yeah? Mm. so that you can be flown out of country mm. Mm? Mm. so get that one yes that the aircraft used to carry to to to, to flee Ochuka and his group to, to to Dar es Salaam was just to make people look that okay mm. Shetani, He's the leader. Yeah, Shetani, you know, he wanted to come here and bring the people to Kenya. came back to Kenya and was mm. called a hero. Mm. If he was commander like anybody who claims that a junior private who claimed that he was commander mm. mm. and jailed for thirty years, why didn't they jail Leshan? And Leshan Le- 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 ended up becoming a Kenya Air Force commander. Mm. You see. Mm. There are people who are not yet here. Yeah. And taking part. And there are people who are forced mm. to say that because kwa interrogated na kwa nini kwa nini mlikuwa mkijoa nyoa hii. Mm. And say what 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 are you talking about? And these are special branch interrog- interrogating us, not military officers. Mm. Mm. So you get me. I don't want if where 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 I'm not saying the truth, mm. and and the truth should be told. We are still alive. Yes. Let Kenyans not be fooled that there was somebody who wanted to over, and that's why Moi ruled for twenty four years. Because no one wanted to overthrow him. Nobody wanted to overthrow him. So he knew that when I do this one, I'll stop people. He didn't say it. I'm, I'm I'm unstoppable, but he said. He, he used okay. it through military. Okay, well, because now at least it's made sense when you've made it clear that uh, Muhammad was loyal to Moi, because that's what I, I was it not was. understanding. That's what I was not understanding. So, okay, so uh, Ochuka, so uh, why do you think they flew Ochuka to Tanzania then? Because he was to come back later. To make it real. Because to make they it had real. already arranged with Nyerere. Nyerere. Nyerere took his men back and Ochuka mm. was brought back. Yeah. They had the Nyerere also had the same case. Mm. 
Yeah. And okay. I remember having one person from Tanzania drinking with me mm. in the mess where I was. Mm. Eating with me, not even drinking. How is a, some loser in Tanzania? Mm. You see? Yeah. Ah, Sisi, to idea. We'll help you. Don't even oh, this which 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 month is this? This was before it be, between eighty one. Oh, so this before the the coup. Okay. okay. Before the coup. Oh, okay. Oh, so he's yeah. saying that. He's going they they were going to help you overthrow the government not only overthrowing they're talking in terms that you you get it as a okay why do these people want to help us and what do we like yeah yeah okay okay yeah mm. Mm. Yes. okay so um so w- when was Ochuka flown out the same the same day first of all the same day and when was he brought back after how long Uh, this one I was already after after one some one and a half years. Oh, that's when he was brought back. Yeah. Okay, and you, I was asking when were you arrested? Like, okay, detained. Now, Let's use the term detained. Now let me tell you about my arrest and my in, my my imprisonment. Mm. Um, I was under DOD MIC. Mm. That was my unit. Mm. My service was Kenya Air Force. Mm. We have three services in the military. Mm. We have Kenya Army, we have Kenya Air Force, and we have Kenya Navy. Yeah. So the three services can take somebody to DOD, logistic, mm. military intelligence, military police, mm. and they mix up there. And you can be a military police, but you are stationed at your unit. Mm. You don't have to be at DOD. Mm. So in case, according to Armed Forces Act, mm. nobody can charge me initially if I was wrong. I was to be taken to be charged at DOD. Okay. Under my commanding officer. Mm. And anything cannot happen to me if I'm outside Kenya mm. before I'm taken before my commanding officer. So for you to prove that Major, Major General Mahmoud Mohammed, mm. who acted as if he was helping Moi mm. and he knew all those things, mm. became Air Force Commander, 82 Air Force Commander, mm. which was not in our constitution. Okay. How did they come to that 82 Air Force Commander and giving Mohammed to be the Air, Air Force Commander, 82 Air Force Commander? Mm-hmm. So I'm charged with Major General Major General Mahmoud Mohammed. Oh, he's the one who charged you. Yeah, who don't even know where I work, which unit I belong. So what did he charge you with? Mutiny. Mutiny. Okay. Under Section 25 of, of the Armed Forces Act. Okay. And he's charging me not knowing even my my unit. Mm. So I'm looking at the charge sheet after. So, uh, when I was having prison, they, all documents were brought to us in the prison. Okay. Mm. Why you are being dismissed or discharged from the service and the charge, what you did wrong. So I'm charged with the mutiny, me and other Kenya Air Force personnel. Mm. Mm. We wanted to overthrow the government. Oh, they are making it like that, like that. And then Major General Mahmoud Mohammed, the Air Force Com- the 82 Air Force Commander, is char- is signing for the charge. Mm. So I'm looking at that. This is Sergeant 03218 Sergeant Hezbollah Mbwayo Diero of Kenya Air Force Embakasi. Mm. A unit which has never been to Kenya mm. since we got independent up to tomorrow. Mm. There's a unit which is called Kenya Air Force Embakasi. Mm. So I'm charged under a very funny unit. You see? Yeah. And then the confirmation letter to prison authority, which is signed by confirming officer, uh, confirming officer, mm. Is confirming me to be imprisoned for 18 years at Langata Barracks. Yes. 
So Langata Barracks has a prison itself. Where? Langata Barracks has a prison? Cuz I just know about Langata prison. There's a Langata Langata there... Senate Battalion. Okay, so um uh like excuse my ignorance for this, but so all these barracks they have their own prisons. There's no prison in it. We have what we call guard room. Where yeah, so, if a soldier, yes, yeah, where a soldier, a soldier can be taken, mm. and if it is a serious case, you can be jailed outside a prison. Okay, Civili okay. a civilian's prison. Oh, okay, but this time you are at Langata Barracks. Yeah, Langata Barracks. Mm. So I'm, um, I'm, um, I'm um, now. They are now confirming that uh, they are confirming to prison authority that they are, they, they, uh, according to promulgation and of, of on and, uh, and findings, sentence. Mm. Yeah. Orders pronounced at your recent trial by court martial. Yeah. Now they are giving reasons why they have jailed me, and it is signed with the uh, army commander. Mm. Sumbeyo. Okay. Yeah. Chief of, of staff. Yeah. And who is signing this letter? Mm. The, the court prosecutor, mm. Bejambewa, signing for that. Okay. So you see, the first one, I'm on way of Kenya Air Force Mbakasi. Mm. The second one, I'm on way of DOD, mm. MIC, Military Intelligence Corp. Mm. Mm. And then I go to the third letter, mm. which is my certificate of discharge. Yeah. This is what proves and says that, okay, you are discharged from the service or dismissed because of this and that. That's dis dishonorable discharge, huh? What is it? How is it no, called? No. Yeah, it depends on why they're discharging you. Yeah. We have reasons that they, 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 you have you have served with the color. Mm. You are given your benefits. Mm. You are dismissed because you misbehave. Yeah. You have done this and that. So this is what determines who you are and why. If you go out, this is the certificate of discharge which can give you job outside there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because even your qualifications of education is written there. Mm. The medals you have been given is in there. Mm. Your rank is there. And everything. So you don't even need to carry your ESC, ESC uh, certificate. Okay. Or your primary or any. It is here. Okay. Mm. From discipline forces. Mm -hmm. A man cannot have this without being disciplined. Yeah. <laughs> and if if you are given a green one, that is when you are okay. Mm. If you are given a red one, which I was given, then you are that one. If people see it's just like what I'm I'm seeing coming at Ikonini Apa is easy easy because I was in a pick up red red. Yes. Yes, yes. Now you take a mend a radio. You look like that. Mm. So in this certificate of discharge, I am now subject umbuayo mm. of easily. Yeah. Now we are three now in one. Yeah, because I thought you are Embakasi. Mm. Yeah, we are three in one. Embakasi, yeah. the mm. unit which has not been in this country. Yeah. Number two, I'm now on why of DOD MIC. Yeah. Number MIC? three. MIC mean meaning? Military intelligence. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Number three. Mm. I'm on of Kenya Air Force Sicily. Yeah. And then these things were given to me before. Mm. Prison authority. Mm. And I managed to maneuver and I got my papers and I sent it home. Mm. I have the original. You see these ones? Yeah. And this is what has helped me all along to my journey up to where I sit today. Mm. Mm. Because if you explain to somebody, he says, but uh, what happened? Mm. I've gone even to 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 to, to, to military attache where there 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 are there are military officers in the in the embassy. Mm. But they said no, 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 we have not seen such something. Are you joking? Mm. British embassy. Yeah. So the last one now I complained when I came out of prison in 1987. So you you were jailed in 83. You're jailed 82. for 82. 82. You're still jailed in 82. Your trial was that fast. We were the first people. 
and we were supposed oh. to be taken for firing squad.